Welcome back to Justin's Joint, where I should be working, but something just came in the mail that I'm pretty excited about. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. It is approximately 11.36 on a Tuesday, and I really should be working, but Amazon just dropped by and left me a little surprise. Well, it's not a surprise because it's something that I knew was coming because I ordered it. But it's a, you know, it's a little, a little uh, pick-me-up, what have you, or what have you, it's whatever. I'm just stumbling over my words because I'm pretty excited. And this thing here is not very expensive. It's like 40 bucks maximum. Probably less. I think I paid like 39, 36, something like that. I don't even remember. But what it is, is a watch. Now what this watch is, is an Armatron. Um, I'm going to see if I can't look up the specs right now. Pull up my Amazon account. But supposedly, or at least according to what I ordered, it's an Armatron did, uh, analog watch with a steel bracelet. So I'm pretty excited because I've got another Armatron watch that I've had for years, like years and years. It's actually something my wife got me a long time ago. And it is actually still kicking. I had to put a new battery in it, but other than that, the thing still works great. So, figure, let's try an Armatron. You know, they're Armatron is watches that are not expensive at all. Like, you'd be lucky to find one that's, you know, upwards of 100 bucks because they're just all that expensive. All that inexpensive. I'm trying to multitask here, so stand by. Yes, so what we've got is an Armatron Men's 20 slash 4664 multifunction stainless steel bracelet watch. It has day and date and seconds, it looks like. Um, and I don't know if this is a... Yes, this is a chronograph. So, and then it's got a bezel on it. It's just got seconds, but I don't think the bezel moves. I think it's stationary, so... But we're about to see what this what this watch looks like in this box. And I'll probably size it real quick and put it on my wrist. So let's jump down whoosh, to the desk cam and unbox this bad boy. Okay, so here we are with the box in front of us. It is an Armatron Men's 20 slash 4664. As you can see right here, 20 slash 4664. Supposedly, it's got a blue face. And based on the BL and the number right there, I would tend to probably agree with that. So let's just go ahead and pop the box open and see what we have. Okay, so setting that aside, we've got a nice Armatron box here. You know, for 40 bucks, that's a lot nicer than I expected. That's a lot nicer than I expected. So we will just pop that open. And inside you have a very nice looking stainless steel watch. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull that out. Take it off the pillow. There's some instructions in there, but you know, we're men. We don't need instructions. I mean, maybe we do, but we don't admit to it. So we will just go ahead and set the box aside. So here is the watch right out of the box. We have uh, a little bit of plastic film that we can peel off. And it looks to me upon inspection that everything looks pretty dang sweet. Something that you don't see from the 
picture on the internet is that you get some vertical, like, uh, I don't know, some vertical texturing in the watch face. And I don't know that the camera is going to pick that up quite, quite good enough to where you can see it. But it adds a little something to the watch face, which is a little kind of interesting. Something that I wasn't expecting. So, what we have is... This is actually not a chronograph. This is just basically a watch with day of the week right here. We've got date right here. And then we have a 24-hour counter right here. So it's not a chronograph. It says 24-hour chronograph subdials in the ad, in the ad, but it, obviously it's not a chronograph. You don't have the extra chronograph pushers. Um, and you know, I don't I don't think that I thought that this was a chronograph when I ordered it, but I don't really remember what I was thinking. So it comes on this nice bracelet. And this bracelet feels actually for for being a, a Chinese made bracelet. This is better than some of the bracelets that I've got off of Amazon to put on other watches that were made in China. So we got that going for us. So let's go ahead and get this tag off and get her sized and put it on my wrist. Grab a knife here, just cut that guy and off of there. So the clasp, well the clasp is actually very nice. So the clasp, let's take this guy off of here. Um, so the clasp has a lock and then it has two pushers on the side to unlock it, which is nice. And we gotta get this piece of protective paper off of there. Okay. So that's pretty nice. It's got a fairly decent clasp. It feels it feels nice and sturdy. I, you know, for thirty nine dollars, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna complain one one stinking bit. I mean, it maybe is a little jangly, maybe, but I mean, it looks pretty nice. It's not too terribly large. Let's uh, grab the calipers here and let's just have a look. So the dial itself is 42 the overall length of this bad boy is uh, about 49 and the thickness is 12 so you know it's maybe a little on the bigger ish side at 42 diameter but you know just sitting here looking at it, it it's not terrible I mean I guess it's about the same size as the Seiko that I'm wearing, maybe a little bit smaller. The other thing that, I'll, that I've noticed is that the, the bracelet that it comes with isn't quite as big as some other bracelets for other watches that I've received in the past. So I probably am not going to have to pull as many links out of this. I mean, I got these, you know, tiny twiggy arms, so I always have to pull, always have to pull links out. So I always have to pull links out of my bracelets, but let's uh, let's just go ahead and pull this watch off. And throw this guy on the wrist, just as is, just to see how many links, if any, I am going to have to remove. Now, right off the bat, it's pretty loose, as you can see. I got a lot of a lot of hang down. And I'm probably gonna have to take out about two links. No, that's I would say it's kind of a maybe an illusion. I've I've received watches bigger than this, but this is yeah. There's quite a bit of slap slop there, so we're gonna have to take out quite a few links. So let's go get the tools and let's do that real fast, and then we'll see how this thing fits. One eternity later. Okay, guys, as you can tell, it is no longer daytime and I'm wearing a different shirt because, well, continuity. <laughs> Anyhow, truth be told, emails came in and uh, 
phone calls happened, and, well, here we are, like, two days later. And I'm finishing the video. So, got the watch sized, and I've been wearing it ever since, actually. And it, yeah, I'm going to tell you, this is a simple watch, and the more I wear it, the more I really grow to like it. The Just the simplicity, it's very light, the bracelet does not pull my arm hairs one bit it's just a very very simple simple watch so just a couple of things that I haven't gone over yet is that I mean I, I guess I kind of sort of pointed them out before but we're gonna just take a look at the face of the watch real fast point out a couple of things and then uh, we'll be on our merry way all right so here we are we're taking a quick peek at the at the face of this watch the dial of the watch here now what we have on the dial is obviously the hour and minute hand and the second hand what we also have is a date subdial over here. We have a 24 hour subdial down on the bottom and a day of the week subdial right here. And as I mentioned, it's got this bezel. This is stationary, which actually I kind of like. The other thing to note, I think, about the dial or the face of this watch is that there is loom on the hour and minute hands as well as this little pip right here at the top. The loom's not anything super special. It's nothing like the Seiko loom that I have on so many of my other Seiko watches, but uh, it's good to know that it's there and it does last a little while. I've woken up in the middle of the night and been able to have a look at this, although it's not super bright, but it's there. It's good to know that it's that it's there. And also, like I mentioned before, there is this kind of texturing on the dial face and I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this but it's just kind of some vertical folds just in the in the face of the of the watch dial which kind of gives it a little bit of a classy classy look here get a closer up look at the bracelet it almost reminds me of kind of a jubilee style bracelet Kind of, sort of. Nice and nice and smooth. Nothing that's catchy. Nothing that's you know sharp. And there's no sharp edges. It's just pretty well, pretty well made, I would say. And then again, there's the clasp with the Armatron logo in the locking mechanism. So I think that's kind of pretty much it. Thirty-nine dollars. All right, guys and gals, that's basically it. That's the gist of it for this particular watch. It is one of my cheapest watches yet over the past two or three days that I've been wearing it since I first opened it. It has really grown on me, and I don't know if it's the fact that it's inexpensive and I don't have to worry about, you know, breaking it or anything like that. It's just... You know, it does what I want it to. It shows me the date, the day, the time. Uh, and, you know, ultimately, if I'm out mowing the grass or I'm, you know, working around the house and I break it, it's not like I'm out hundreds of dollars. I'm only out tens of dollars. <laughs> it makes a big gut, makes a big uh, impact in my, in my, my little psyche here. So, anyhow, there you have it. A look at the $40 Armatron analog steel bracelet watch. Till next time right here in the joint. We'll see you later. I just stabbed myself with